John, I got to tell you, and I'm not lying about this because I don't say this often. Uh, today, uh, a lot of women uh, that work here at the show, very excited oh, that you were coming on the program. You've become a bit of a heartthrob. Yeesh. Uh, I, I find that completely ridiculous, my friend. I, 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 I do have to say, I, I have to jump on uh, Mr. Short's bandwagon. You know, when I was growing up, when I was in high school, my dear friend Teresa Bradley had the biggest crush on you, and it had nothing to do with your winning personality or how funny you are, which everybody knows he is. It was completely and utterly based on looks. And I do have to say, now seeing you this close and looking into your eyes, you are a very handsome man. I noticed that backstage, but you are, I mean, he is. I mean, I don't know what he's talking about me. That is, you know, so I just thought I'd say that, man. <laughs> I think I'm in love with you now. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, I, I, I'll say that uh, you've got on, on the show. I can. You've got a real, like a, a rugged, like a real rugged charm going um, for you if, on the show. If, if rugged means um, battered in and beaten up looking, I, I think I've I've kind of got that covered. You know, I, uh, I, I. No, I don't think that's a good. But thing, ladies, you know? ladies like that though. Yeesh. Ladies like a guy who is tough and confident, and you exude that on the show. And well, you know, I have uh, I have two brothers, and they're sort of. Um, just better looking, prettier versions of me. And, and my older brother, Tom, he never ceases to take the opportunity to tell me how good my acting career would actually be going, how well it would be going if I only looked like him. Right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I, it, it is What funny. a nice guy. Yeah. the best, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I was down in uh, Shreveport. I was just doing a movie down there, and uh, a guy came by to deliver a pizza. And uh, he said he was really excited to be delivering pizza to me, that he and his wife were huge fans of the show, and uh, I said, oh, that's great, I'm so glad you guys watched, let me sign something for you. He said, well, actually, you know, you are my wife's one wild card. And I said, well, what, what, what exactly is, is, is that? Right. And he said that I would both uh, accept and encourage my wife sleeping with you. <laughs> and, and I said, well, well wow, wow, Scotty, I, I, I really don't know what to say to that. And he said, and yeah, and the cool thing is, is now I know where you live. And, and I said, well, you know, I'll just take the pizza, man. But, yeah, but, yeah. but, 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 but it's hard for me to accept because I've broken my nose 14 times. Now, how'd you have, break your nose 14 times? You know, look, uh, boxing, playing oh, you're baseball. A, you're a boxer. Just, yeah, yeah, just being an all-around knucklehead. But see, that was something that happened to me. But these giant ears, I, I was born with these. And, 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 and no joke, when I was born, the doctor actually did say to my mom, he suggested that they carved the ears down a little bit because of all the massive amounts of ridicule that I would get. What? And, uh, yeah, and this was well, not what Beverly Hills what? in 2012. No, what, did the guy have like a salami slicer there? <laughs> <laughs> Just to go to work on it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. I know, cosmetic surgery on a baby. But, uh, yeah. Now, you, uh, on Walking Dead, of course, there's a lot of zombie killing, and mm. that must be uh, fun. But your, your mm. character also gets to... Uh, you know, have a good time with the ladies. You've, oh had, some, you've had some sex scenes. <laughs> well, one always leads to the other. You know yeah. what I mean? They kind of go hand in hand. Zombies it's, always lead to sex. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny because there's, um, as far as our show goes, you know, you can show a six-year-old girl getting shot in the head, and you can show somebody getting sliced in half with a meat cleaver, but when it comes to sex on our show, there are very specific rules and regulations as far as non-pay cable go. Right. And, uh, you know, as far as... Uh, I remember one of the first scenes I ever shot with the lovely and talented Sarah Wayne Callies. We just met, and we were told to go out into the woods together and simulate sex. So, and that's always great. Hey, nice to meet you. Let's go simulate sex. Right. And, <laughs> Uh, I was told as far as nudity is concerned, the only thing you're allowed to show is the male buttocks. So there I was, I had to drop trial in front of the crew that I was gonna be working with for the next few years and they all saw my ass and I walk out into the woods with her and I learned the golden rule of sexual simulation on non-paid cable and that is no thrusting. No thrusting whatsoever. Is, and are these rules crazy? They really, they really do have these rules. So you can see your butt. That's it. But there's no thrusting No motion. thrusting. And I will tell you, nothing will make you feel like a bigger pervert than having your director and producers yell at you from behind the camera while you're simulating sex. Uh, John, no thrusting. John, you're thrusting. Stop thrusting. <laughs> and look, you know, you can call me a douchey method actor, but I'm trying to get into it. I don't know how to, I don't know how to be, you know, do I'm grinding, not thrusting. That's it, man. <laughs> a little bit, right? Right?